When runways have been bombed and conventional aircraft either destroyed or grounded, the Harrier can still strike back. A few hundred yards of takeoff run from between the craters is all the Harrier needs. For dispersed sight operations, a small wood is all it requires to escape detection and survive. The Harrier has been in operational service with the Royal Air Force since early 1969. This is Number One Squadron, one of two units based in Britain. Further, three squadrons are based in Germany. All the Harrier squadrons are assigned to NATO and operate from northern Norway down to the eastern Mediterranean. in the United States as the AV-8A, the Harrier has been in service with the Marine Corps since 1971. Here, operating in the role of rapid reaction air defense, these Marine Corps Harriers are equipped with Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. The major role of the American Harriers will be in close support of land forces operating from ships as well as ashore. The Harrier also has a reconnaissance capability and is fully cleared to carry and release a wide range of standard NATO and American weapons. The weapon load on this Harrier is 8,000 pounds. For accurate navigation and weapon delivery, the Harrier is fitted with the Ferranti FE-541 inertial navigation and attack system and its associated Smith's head-up display. Flying the Harrier is straightforward and well within the ability of young pilots with basic operational jet training. Although many pilots have converted straight onto single-seater Harriers, the two-seater provides first-class training and can also carry out all the operational missions of the single-seater. This Harrier of number four squadron, based in Germany, is outward bound on a reconnaissance mission.
time is all important and the camera magazines are rushed to the photo van. Within minutes, the pictures are available for pilot Here's debriefing. Yards, my main target. Uh, you can just see my main target, but it looks as though the main armour has moved to this area here. Your target is an infantry combat group, which is an infantry... With the target and location established, two pilots are briefed for a strike sortie. Tanks, that is about 12... This time it's only an exercise. But these are real Harrier capabilities. In many parts of the world they attract the attention of service chiefs and evaluation teams. The Harrier's unique performance and flexibility on land or at sea is a fully proven capability. It has been amply demonstrated and, most important, has now become the day-to-day -day routine of operational service.